All right, well, I've been rather terrible lately about uh, doing some filming. So here's uh, the side panels from the cockpit. And we made these out of half inch birch ply. Got port there, starboard behind it. Yeah, these are ready to go. Not bad. Over here, we're in the makings of um, stenciling some pieces here for one of the backrests. Here's the other pieces I have to make tonight. These are all the structural parts of uh, this right here, which is the backrest. I'll show a picture of where these go. We're leaving this one together until we're done with the other one. Uh, the other one I de-skinned and took over to DC Canvas to have remade. There's the, this is the foam from that seat back. We were very careful to preserve it as best as we could. Over here we have the swim platform. And here's a gigantic roll of 1708 biaxial fiberglass. I also bought a gallon of West Systems 105 and 205 work with that that's gonna be its own fun video right there of pulling that all apart grinding it all out recoring it reglassing it that's where we're at There it is. <laughs> the LEDs. Those guys will go up, up top. Got two 10 watt chips. 10 watt chips are gonna come on this guy. The strip lighting is gonna come on with this guy. Badass.
All right, guys, today's kind of a big day. This morning, I went and picked up the upholstery. The back seat here, the backrest, and the three back cushions. He didn't put the snaps on it yet. He's going to come out to the boat and do some final adjustments and stuff like that in the spring. But here it is. I'm going to go ahead and get situated here, and uh, we'll get some some better footage. All right, so I had to go ahead and uh, pull out all the quarter 20 stuff. There's a quarter 20 captive nut originally, and um, someone had put screws into the sides of them to try and get it to stop spinning. So um, we went ahead and epoxied in the next size up captive nut um, and reinforced it on the other side. It really isn't going anywhere now. Uh, plus, we're you know we stepped up to the larger bolt and everything. It's way overbuilt, hopefully, and uh, we shouldn't have any problem in the future. Over here is where those side panels go. We've been working on. Um, that was remade out of half-inch birch ply, and I'm going to treat it with penetrating epoxy before we go ahead and um, cover them and reinstall them. We did end up reusing these uh, Christmas tree fasteners that go in these holes. I apologize for the mess. I'm going to clean all this today. I'm going to be doing a lot of vacuuming and whatnot, wiping down. It's 37 today, which is the warmest it's been here in Detroit in the uh, past two weeks. So I'm going to go ahead and get get to working. All right, I've got everything reinstalled here. As I was installing it, I realized I'm probably going to have to end up taking this backrest off again when I redo the teak in the springtime. But such a whatever. No big deal. I'll take it back off when I refinish the teak. The upholstery guy is going to come do the buttons in the spring, and we're all set. Now all I have to do is these panels. Another thing I've been working on is uh, adding the new overhead lights in the cabin. I'll show a picture of that installed last night. These uh, these cool color changing LEDs are around the outside. We've got two 10 watt chips that go above. Um, the 10 watt chips are white and they're going to be on one switch and the color changing strip lighting is going to be on the other switch both running at 12 volts I've got the power supply running right now just to show how it's all going to come together but it actually is just 12 volts so originally right here this was an on-off switch for the overhead lighting, which was 120 volts. And they were up there, and they're just fluorescent tubes that were circular. We removed all that and used that 120 volts just to power this. It's a nice USB outlet to charge our phones with and whatnot. 
handy dandy. And then right below it, we've got the rocker switches. So, because I've got three wires hanging out up here anyways from when it was 120 volts, the black is going to be a common ground for both the chip lights and the strip lights. The white's going to power the strip lights. The green's going to be power for the overhead chips, the white 10 watt chips. So that'll be fun. Um, I don't really know too much about electrical, but my buddy TC is going to come over and wire these switches. Um, panel look, ended up looking really nice. Real cool install. This is what it looks like when it's installed up there. Got the infrared uh, receiver for the remote so I can change all different colors. Um, behind here, um, well, here, there's a panel that goes here, and there's going to be the two amps here, um, which are both going to be Memphis. I've got them now. I got a four channel to run my components, and I got a two channel Memphis that I'm going to bridge to push my 12 inch subwoofer. Um, so that install is going to be fun. I now have to run speaker wire for all the speakers out there. All brand new. I'm not going to run any of the original C-Ray stuff. It's all over the place. and They all go to this rheostat up on the helm where you can adjust the volume inside and out and switch between inside and outside speakers. We're just going to gut all that wiring that used to come over here and uh, trace it all back and get rid of it. The only thing I'm going to reuse is probably the radio switch over there. There's uh, the Memphis two channel for the sub. Use my cheapo marine sub. Over here is my double din. Pioneer, which I'm putting on the helm, should be pretty cool. Yeah, that head unit's actually not going to be pushing any speakers. Everything is going to be pushed by uh, the Memphis 4 channel. There's some of my speakers, all JBL Marine. I'm going to order another set of uh, six and a halfs. There's going to be four six and a halfs on uh, one channel. Or one half of the amplifier, a set of six by nines and a six by ha six and a halfs on the other side of the amp. So it should pound pretty good with the sub having its own Memphis amp. Plenty to do. There's the, there's the top of or the the fixture, the light fixture. But yeah, it's all torn apart. But hopefully in the next few weeks here, we'll make some progress. Here's a Garmin I ended up picking up off of Buddy. Um, it's a 5-inch. Uh, I got a new antenna for it, brand new. The cover is brand new. I got the uh, flush mount kit. I ordered a new um, wiring kit for it, too. So pretty much everything's new on it. I'm not sure if I am going to end up using this guy or not. I was at West Marine the other day and I was really drooling over their 7 inch, their newer Garmin, 74 dB I think. And uh, I might end up doing that instead, which in that case I'd be selling that guy. The boat actually only came with one set of keys, so I had another set of keys made. Got some new Sea Ray branded floaties. Here's the old school ones from 89. Good old Bill McMacken Sea Ray.